Hi everyone, we are here with... Hi, my name is Erin Cole. And what brought you out here today, Erin? So I really wanted to get out of my box today and really meet new creative people and I just took a bunch of medical medium people online and I was like, hey, let's go down here and let's have a great time all together. And uh, how'd you guys meet? So um, we met online through Instagram, um, all following Medical Medium, um, and I was, I've been a part of Medical Medium for four years, and just following his protocols has led me to set great changes. So. And how has the protocols and Medical Medium information helped you? Yes, when I was 15 I was diagnosed with juvenile osteoarthritis, um, so I had to have one hip replaced when I was 20 years old um, as the youngest patient, and through that change I had to really overall help my other hip <laughs> from the other hip replacement um, and it's amazing what the protocols have done. What has, what has it actually done for you? Can you tell us? Yeah, so relieve stiffness, joint pain, acne, eczema, um, brain fog, overall just improve my mood and just overall being happy and clear. And it's been a, an amazing event today and so what's your thoughts on the event? This is amazing. This is more than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was it's going to be a signature at Air One, um, but this is amazing. This is the, the vibe here. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. And uh, are you local? Did you fly in? I flew in from Detroit, Michigan. So, yeah. Uh, how long did you prep for today? Um, we just got up at 4 a.m. and then we just showed up here. So we've been here for a couple hours and we just get out here as quick as we could. Yeah. And is there anything uh, you're looking forward to while you're here at the event? I'm um, just meeting amazing people that, you know, you never thought you would ever meet. And just uh, meeting A.W., of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much. No problem. Pledge. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So, so, what's your name? My name is Eric Fisher. What brought you out here today, Eric? Came here to meet Medical Medium and to connect with so much of our community, get some free merch, get a book signed, check out Erwan. My first time to L.A. Nice. And uh, how has Medical Medium impacted you? Medical Medium for me is a lifelong answer. For a long time I was proclaiming to people in my life that I would live to be 122 years old and I didn't know how that was going to happen but I, now, I know now that Medical Medium is an answer. And it's an answer for so many people with so many illnesses. It's a tool that we can give to our friends and our loved ones. Gotcha. And, um, what would you like to share or tell everybody that's part of the medical medium community? Keep a light heart. Keep a light heart one day at a time. Every single step that you make matters. And what we're doing today with ourselves, with our bodies, with our families is informing the next generations and the future of health. So just keep at it. Do your best. We're here with you. And what's your thoughts on the event? It's awesome. It is... Um, you know, like I said, it, it started very organically and it has just grown and expanded. It's, it's huge. I still see people wrapping around the building at Erwan just to get their smoothie to still come over here. Um, it's awesome. So many beautiful people. It's, we, I, I've never been to an experience with so many like-minded medical medium people. This is a big deal for everybody here. Awesome. Thank you, Eric, for coming on. Thank you, brother. Thanks for All having right, me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with... Janik. Yeah, Nick, and how are you doing today? I'm good. It's so exciting. Why is it so exciting? Uh, to meet the community, to meet medical medium who's in our daily life, to, yeah, to just live this experience that's very unique. Mm -hmm. And uh, what brought you out here today? Um, well, my journey of healing so much. So I heal more than 40 symptoms. Um, yeah, in 2013, I had a life-threatening illness. And what was the illness? Uh, I got an autoimmune diagnosis, but it was my lungs that were in danger. Um, yeah, so I had, um, I couldn't breathe for a month. I had water in my pleura, which is the envelope surrounding the lungs. And nobody talks about that symptom, but even though I don't know the root cause, I still heal so much just applying all the liver detox, all the cleanses, all the liver morning, um, yeah, the morning detox cleanse and the celery juice. Celery juice every day, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I see you have a cucumber. Yeah, that's my mic. <laughs> that's, your, that's your mic? <laughs> yeah. show, show the people your mic. <laughs> show the people your mic. Yes. Yummy. <laughs> you just, you want to take a bite out of it for us? Show us. For sure. 
she's really eating it, folks. She's really eating it. So, um, what's your thoughts about the event so far? Um, super exciting. Um, the all the people we meet that is awesome. Or like, hey, like, what's your handle? Like, I can identify you. Um, because part of our journey, we feel very alone through it. So, like, now meeting all these people doing the same stuff, like. It feels like we're not weird <laughs> for once. Mm -hmm. um, the light blast was very special. Uh, it wasn't announced in advance, so that was like a nice surprise. Um, and yeah, just like really meeting the people is very special. Got you. And uh, yeah, the light blast was amazing, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so are you local? Where did you, where did you come from? Yeah, <laughs> I come from Quebec. I am just beside Ottawa, but on the French side, so I'm a French Canadian. Yeah. Parlez-vous français? Oui, je parle français. C'est ma langue maternelle. That's all I got, folks. I got nothing else. Oui, <laughs> oui. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeanette, is there anything you would like to tell people who are maybe not sure of medical medium, who are concerned about their illness? Would you like anything to tell anybody about that and how they can possibly heal? Yeah, I think you have to be flexible in your mind to receive this information. And um, most likely, we've tried a lot of things. We tried a lot of, we've went to the doctor, did the test, didn't got any answers. And for me, when I saw celery juice for the first time, I, it just clicked. It's like my truth radar. Like, I was this, I need to do this. Um, and it's going to... It takes some discipline and some commitment, and you're going to have the biggest freedom ever. You're going to gain back your health. I've healed more than 40 symptoms, and I feel better in my 30s than in my 20s. So it, life just keeps getting better. So there's a moment where you, you'll be healed, and it's totally worth it. Yeah. Awesome, and it's the truth. And I just want to thank you, my dear, for sharing with us, and have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with Namdi. What was your name again? You can say Andy. Andy? Yeah. How are you doing, Andy? Great, thank you. Uh, what brought you out here today? Uh, the medical and medium event. And what about medical medium is important to you? Uh, I followed medical medium for four years, actually. And when I saw that he will be live here in Culver City, I, I couldn't resist. And how has medical medium impact you? Uh, greatly in terms of health. Uh, yeah, it changed my life. Uh, can you tell us all how he changed your life? For sure. Since I started f to follow him, like all the symptoms I had, uh, neurological and whatever else, uh, started to dim the, uh, diminish, and yeah, I started to feel much better overall. What type of uh, symptoms did you have so people can understand? Uh, kind of adrenal fatigue, you know, and also I. I studied like a chemical university, so I was uh, I worked with a lot of chemical stuff and stuff like that, you know. So I had to get it out of myself. So his cleanses and stuff like that really changed my state. What would you like to tell people who may not know who medical medium is or may not believe his stuff? What would you like to tell people? Just do it. Just do it, and the rest of it will speak for itself. And um, what do you think about the event today so far? What have you thinking about it? I think it's amazing. I've been here since 3 a.m. in the morning, between the first ones, and I have to say, these types of events are, are the best. With this light, light, light blast and uh, all the special stuff he does today, it was amazing. Um, what have you um, been looking forward to seeing to today, doing today? Have you been looking forward to anything today? Uh, the, the pinnacle of this event was the light blast. And I was there, so I'm very happy for it. And it sounds like you may have traveled kind of far. Have you traveled to get here today? Sure. I'm from Europe, so I traveled all the way from Czech Republic just to see Anthony live. And um, what, what language do they speak in Czech Republic? We have Czech language. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit for some Czech people out there? Ahoj. Pozdravuj všechny od Česka. Dobre done. Great, it's amazing. Okay. You surprised me. Awesome. Um, is there, I want to thank you again for sharing with us and talking with us. Is there anything else you want to tell people about the event, about Medical Medium, about your life? Would you like to say anything else? Uh, I could describe a long, long story of what I went through with Medical Medium. But I would just say 
Look at look into his books. Look into inf the in, into the information he's providing, and follow it. Follow it for a certain period of time, and the results will speak for itself. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the medical medium event, and I'm here with Beth Brown. Miss <laughs> Brown, and how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's a beautiful day here, so. It is a sunny in California, as they say, right? Yes, very, very. It, we could, it couldn't be more perfect today. Shade, people are nice, so it's, it's wonderful. No bugs either. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Yeah, we're in the good shade, not the bad shade, folks. There you go. There no you go. shade thrown. There you go. There you go. So what brought you out tonight? Um, I've been a medical medium follower since about 2019, and he really helped change my the tra trajectory of my health life. So I, I was like, I gotta, I don't care where he is, I want to be there to meet him, to just thank him and, and tell him what he what he means to me and the people that I've touched with his information. So. And so, what exactly has he done for you in your journey and your healing? So in about at 2019, I had a terrible case of eczema, like all over my body. And I went to several doctors. They knew nothing. They were just giving me Band-Aids to put on these open wounds, basically. And I didn't know where to turn to. And one day I went into the bookstore and I saw a celery juice book and it had the word eczema on it. I was like, oh, let me take a look at this. And, you know... I wanted to go the health route because of the risk. You know, you don't want these high-risk treatments and stuff. I just didn't want that anymore. So I picked up the book, and for whatever reason, I was just like, I think this is going to work. So I decided to give it a try, and that was it. <laughs> and how long have you been following Medical Medium? Um, since 2019, so like five years. Yeah. And are you a firm believer in his work? What would you like to tell people about his work? I just think you should give it a try. I mean, I think once you give it a try, you'll see that it, it probably will work for you. So. Yeah. And you know, black Americans suffer from the most illnesses and stuff like that. And you know, it's been even statistically proven that even black women are not given the right care in medical field. So what would you like to say as an Afro-American woman to other people that look like us out there? Um, I would say, if you don't want to do anything too crazy, try to change your diet first. You know, start off with some of these natural remedies that are out here, like celery juice, just to see what happens and do it consistently. Because um, it really helped me. It help, It's helping the people that are in my life. And I think you start off with yourself and then you spread from there and spread the word. Each one, teach one. I love that. So... This information has not only helped you, but it's also helped other people that you love and care about? Absolutely. I drugged my boyfriend here who's been doing it for about six months. So he, he suffers with some neurological stuff and his symptoms have gone down tremendously just even in that time. So, yeah. And uh, we're at this amazing event. And what, what do you think about it so far? Like, how, how has your experience been so far about the event? It's great. Um, I, you know, I was just kind of looking at the details of how everything was planned. Um, you know, they didn't make us wait. We just stood in line and he signed the book. Um, it, we're in, under these beautiful shaded trees. Um, like I said, no bugs, bathrooms, and separate ones. Ones for men, men and women. So <laughs> Much necessary. Yeah, much necessary. Um, and I, yeah, I got my celery juice. I got my heavy metal detox smoothie, which have changed my life and the people around me. So it's it's just an awesome event, and it's good to to hear other people's stories too. That's the best part of this event is hearing other people's stories. So and journey. Big facts. Yes. Um, what I wanted to say. Well, there's music playing, folks. Hold on for a second. Um, what I wanted to say is that, you know, I think your boyfriend was mentioning that you're you're in a certain field. Can you tell us the type of field that you work in? Do you mind? Oh. No, I'm a, a news photographer in, in Washington, D.C., so yeah. So you, you flew some ways to come over here today, didn't you? Yes, I did. I, yes, thousands of miles. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't have missed it, though. It's, it's, really, it's really helped me out a lot, so. Well, I want to thank you, Ms. Beth, for, for standing here and talking with us. Before I let you go, what did you think about our experience here? You know, I'm not, I'm not a professional photographer or anything like that, you know, I'm just a boy, a boy out here with a microphone and a camera. But what did you think, but more so, what would you like to tell people about healing and life and stuff like that? 
Well, first of all, all you need is what you have in order to tell people's stories. So I applaud you for being out here and doing that. And um, especially with our community, you know, showing that, um, you know, it, like I said, it starts with us. And then it's like each one teach one and um, sharing these experiences and, and having each person try it. Because nothing's forced. But, you know, to see people heal is a beautiful thing. And that's the reward in itself. So, Amen to that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here at Medical Mediums event, and I am here with Linda Huffbauer. Miss Linda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I couldn't be better being in the presence of all of these. Loving people and the medical medium and SOC, Spirit of Compassion. Yes, we call them SOC. <laughs> and so what brought you out here today? Oh, I, I couldn't stay away. I, um, as soon as I heard about it, I got so excited because I was very, very sick. I crawled to retirement. I had to nap. I was scared to eat because it would be so painful. Even water bothered me. And so... And then, miraculously, I saw Anthony waving his arms around Kim Kardashian on TV. And I said, what the heck is this weirdo doing? And he goes, oh, you have a lot of medals. And I'm like, medals? And then they interviewed him. And lo and behold, when they showed his books, I said, I have one of his books. And I had forgotten because I had picked it up at a store while I was still teaching and then I was now I was retired and so I went to my bookcase immediately and there it was a thyroid book because they had zapped my thyroid what do you mean when you say that zapped they radiated most of it away because I had Hashimoto's and I didn't know about him yet I wish I had however I was on the highest dosage yeah I lost three months of work I was on the highest highest dosage and I've brought it down twice practicing, like I cracked that thyroid book open, I started reading, making the smoothie, making the, the recipes, and I started feeling a little better, a little better, a little better, and so I kept getting more books and more books, and just being so grateful, and then as you know, the spirituality stuff, you know, I got turned on to that, and I'm just, I can't explain how grateful I am, and I I feel God in me and around me all the time. And I thought, you know, I mean, I got my book signed and I just felt in awe because knowing that SOC is right there, right there and supporting this whole thing, it's just so that every, this, this, is, my, this is my dream. In the 60s, I was a hippie. And, we had love-ins, yep. and this is the best love-in I've ever been to. Wow. Okay, for people who may not know about what a love-in is, well, we know about make loving and love and loving, but can you tell us what that means for people who may not know? A love-in was people who had in, in common that you want to love one another no matter what and be peaceful. And so we would get in groups and we would just enjoy each other and talk and our whole theme was love and peace, kindness, help, you know. Um, yeah, that's what a love in is. Got you. And how long have you been following Medical Medium? And what would you say to people who are non-believers of his work? Okay, since 19, uh, 2019, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, oh wow, six years now. And I would say, I hope that if you don't have hope, that you get hope, because hope can bring you an open mind, and an open mind can bring you knowledge, and, and knowledge can bring you experience, and friends, and help, and you just can't help but feel better, and better, and better. Awesome. And uh, what's your, okay, you said it was a loving, right? And so, what did I want to say? What is some of the things that Medical Medium has done for you that you would like to share with the audience? 
I see you even brought a, a family member too, or a friend. Yes, this is my son. He is awesome. He has um, many challenges. Um, now, physically, he will try some of the medical medium stuff, but he doesn't indulge on a regular basis. Um, but he's very supportive of and loves to watch his videos, and he listens to him. And so, um, what was the other part of the question? Um, for people who may not believe in the work that, that come from Medical Medium. Oh, okay, well his videos online, like besides reading the books, like, like the recipes started helping me, and at first I didn't know that he wasn't a doctor. I assumed he was a doctor because everything gave me so much help. So much information. Yeah, and, and, and I felt better. And doctors had been testing me for two years. And she was an honest doctor. She finally said to me, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm so sorry. And do you have any ideas? And I thought, me? <laughs> that, was, that was about three or four years prior to finding him. Okay? But, and I would say, watch online and don't listen to haters. You know, I mean, everybody has haters. But the thousands and thousands of people that came here, you can't, you can't dispute or argue someone who gives their time and gifts for free. Anthony gives it all for free. Obviously, he has financial support. And so, you know, people who believe come together and make this happen along with many other things. And I would, I would start with open your mind and like rather than just, oh, psh, you know, hey, wait a minute, maybe there is something to this. You know, like my oldest son said to me, is he a doctor? And I said, yes. And then later he came to me and said, what'd you tell me he's a doctor for? He's not a doctor. And I said, I didn't know. And so then I started, you know, then that's, you know, it was a while before I knew how he gets his information and from four years old. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. Very much so. And are you local or did you travel a distance to get here? I traveled from Santa Rosa. This is my vacation. Um, it's just overnight. It cost quite a pet pretty penny, but it's very worth it. It's extremely worth it. I'm retired, but I'm working full time because prices are high and I'm so glad because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to. And I do share Vimergy and what I can with people at work that I talk to and they wish they could do it, but they can't afford it. And so, you know, anyone who's so inclined, um, I, I'm going to support this girl that was talking about her warrior. Yes. Yes. Um, I didn't know about it, so I learned that. And I learned how kind people are. I talked to so many people here that so awesome, you know. Um. It's been a really great event, and um, I want to thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Absolutely, you too, and the rest of your life. Likewise. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks for choosing. Hi, everybody. We're here at the Medical Media event, and I'm here with... Brinda. I'm from London. Hey, Brinda. Come on a little closer, Brinda. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and how has your day been today so far? Oh, amazing. It's just a great energy, great atmosphere, and um, it's just a really great opportunity to say thanks in person. So. And uh, what brought you out here today? Um, literally just Anthony William because his information is mind-blowing. I'm in the healthcare industry. I've never seen anything like his information and it's helped me personally a lot. So, um, yeah, just honored to be here. So what, so you said you've been in the healthcare industry. So what have you learned that is misinformation in the health in industry that is positive through Anthony Williams information? You know what? Um, uh, pharmaceutical treatments are designed to help the, the, the symptoms, but they don't get to the root of the problem. I find that medical medium information gets to the core root of the problem, and it helps you on a very deep level, and, a, and it's a sustainable, um, long-lasting, and, you know, um, it's something the industry hasn't managed. So, I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I just find that, yeah, it gets to the root of the problem, the core, the core of the problem. And um, what exactly do you do in the medical industry? Uh, I'm a pharmacist. She's a, a legal drug dealer, as we say. Yeah, sorry.
very licensed druggy, but yeah, uh, I'm a secret rebel, you know, so. I got you. And um, what brought you out here today for this event? Um, just the, you know, the opportunity to be here in LA, to be uh, meeting people from the MM community, um, the tribe, they, they have helped, you know, motivate me a lot personally. And um, I just love hearing the stories and just honestly to just get one second just close to AW to say thanks was it for me. Um, I, I've literally come all the way from London just for, for this event um, yeah, and I'm really glad I did. So. How was your trip from London all the way over here? Yeah, it was great. The weather got better the closer I came. That was a good sign. <laughs> is this your first time in California? Uh, it is, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Anthony made you come all the way out here to California? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's only him that probably could only make. It's only him that could make me do this. I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> not that California is great. Um, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, I, I don't think I would um, do this for anyone else. Yeah. And um, have have you suffered from any symptoms that medical medium has helped you? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I've had. Um, I've had some um, health issues where, um, let's put it this way, I, I, I didn't know if I would ever recover from them. Um, they were, you know, they were um, uh, lots of symptoms altogether and um, I'm still on my healing journey, but lots of it, a lot have improved. Um, and I just put that down to diet because nothing pharmaceutical could help. And um, I want to thank you so much for speaking with us. What would you like to let the world know about Anthony Williams, Medical Medium, his books, his information, this event? What would you like the world to know about all that stuff? I think it's just unparalleled. It's unrivaled, um, especially for women, for women's health. Um, like I had, I, I had issues um, with um, so PCOS, I had fibroids, I had bleeding that was going on for about a year, um, nothing was working and I reversed it with his information um, and I think um, you know it's just going to take the scientific community a long time to catch up with this so if you value you know helping yourself to help others to you know just just go for it now you've got nothing to lose it's healthy fruits, vegetables, protocols, you've literally got nothing to lose. So. I agree. It's going back to nature, it seems like. Yes. Yeah. The root. Yes. Literally the root. <laughs> awesome. I want to thank you so much for st staying with us and talking with us and telling your story. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much for what you're doing. Thanks. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the event, Medical Medium, and I am here with... Jay Auntie. Jay Auntie, how's your day been so far today, man? Excellent. Got you. And what brought you out to this amazing event? Uh, Anthony uh, has been uh, one of the most influential people in my life and in my opinion he's saved both my and my daughter's life and so uh, I could not come. Uh, if you don't mind sharing with us can you tell us how he saved your life and your daughter's life? Yeah so most of my life I, I would consider myself to be pretty healthy fairly healthy lifestyle uh, then I hit 40 and just like the symptoms started and and uh, just was honestly like pretty confused about what to do because of all the information that's out there and it's all conflicting and it's uh, a lot of crazy stuff out there so it was hard to navigate and then um, just by chance I stumbled upon the medical medium read his first book and was a little skeptical at first, honestly. And I was like, is this for real? Is this guy like, SOC? is this, yeah, is this some kind of like government thing yeah, like or what? It's like something, something like that. A hoax. It's like, yeah. and then after reading the second book, I was like, okay, I, I believe it. This is for real. Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. And <clears throat> I realized I didn't have to go looking anywhere else for information it was all right there and so I just started I read all the books and watching all the podcasts and all the everything I get my hands on just studying all the information and um, yeah symptoms started to go away and it's it's been quite a journey uh, what are some of the symptoms uh, that that disappeared um, 
Well, some of them are still going away, but definitely brain fog, um, weight gain, aches and pains. Mm -hmm. And how's your experience at today's event been? How's it been for you today? I'm impressed that uh, they're handling this kind of crowd in such a small space so well. So I'm, I'm really glad I'm not still standing in line like some people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been great. I've been really enjoyed. I'm super glad I came. Gotcha. You know, it makes me think since you're, because not many people think about the logistics of what's going on in the event. So it makes me think, what, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Well, I own a fruit tree nursery, cool. and I have like 12 people that work for me, so I, I have a sense of like what it takes to manage people and get things done and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm always thinking about that kind of like what, like what's the behind the scenes, like what's it take to actually run an event like this? So, How many people do you think showed up today, if you can make a guess? I think at least 10,000. That's what I was telling somebody. They said no. At least 10,000. <laughs> you hear that, folks? 10,000. Got to be. Got to be 10,000. And that's yeah. of the people who could actually make it. Right. Yeah. Um, are you local? Did you travel far to get here? I flew in from Maui. Is that uh, Hawaii? Maui, Hawaii, yeah. Well, uh, aloha, aloha? <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I want to thank you so much for talking with us and sharing with us. Is there anything that you would want everybody to know who may not believe in medical medium, who may maybe be a little on the teeter-totter of medicine and stuff like that? Is there anything you would like to share with the audience in the world? In my humble opinion, it's by far the most valuable, important information on the planet, period. You heard it, folks. You heard it. I want to thank you so much, man. Thank you. Hi, everybody. We are here today at Medical Medium, and we are here with... Spiri. Spiri, and how are you doing today? Doing amazing. And what brought you out today? I think there was um, some finding in my life that has come true in respect to healing, and I just felt the need to just come and see him to continue on my journey, healing. So what exactly in the healing has a medical medium, Anthony Williams, done for you? Sure, I have an autoimmune condition, RA, and I just feel that what, the, the, what I've learned about how the body works has been tremendous in my healing, because I was exactly what he says, that I experienced a lot of different people at a lot of different doctors, and they all, you know, pretty much gave me the same protocols, but this is the real deal. And, for the first time in five months, I got off of my like um, weekly vac week yeah weekly injection. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing all right. Congratulations! And RA is rheumatoid arthritis, correct? And what are some of the um, side effects of rheumatoid arthritis? What are some of the symptoms? Sure, lots of body aches, lots of pain, lots of swelling, crookedness in the fingers, swelling joints. Just a very uh, painful life. And what are some of the protocols that you've done to help alleviate the symptoms? Sure, I do the lemon water, I do the celery juice, I do the heavy metal detox smoothie in the morning. And then I eat lots of greens, lots of salads, lots of fruits. And I definitely have been doing better with avoiding the no foods, because that's a big one. It's a big no-no. So I think I heard you speaking a little other language earlier. Was I, was I listening correctly? Yes, Greek. Greek? Awesome. Would you like to speak a little Greek for some of our Greek listeners out there? Ne, hero me para poli pou to gnorisa, ine to kati alo, ke mas voitai olus ya panda. So, did you happen to come from Greece today? Where did you come from today? No, actually, we came from New York. Wow. So it was a pretty, pretty long flight, huh? It was a long flight. It was a five-hour delay on the plane, and then we finally made it here at four o'clock in the morning. So we just washed up and just came straight. And how? Well worth it. Much well worth it. And how has your experience been today at the park, with the event, with everything? How's your experience? Phenomenal. Just taking a glimpse of him, getting the book signed, hearing him talk, experiencing the light. That was tremendous. So I just feel very peaceful, very calm. 
I think it was more than I expected. And what would you like to let the world know about Medical Medium, his work, his event, his community? What would you like the world to know about that? Yeah, he's really like no other. He knows what he's talking about. He has purity inside his heart, and I could see it right now. And I think you could all learn from him as I continue to learn from him. Awesome. And that's the truth there, folks. And I want to thank you so much for talking with us and have an amazing rest of the day. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. We are here today at the Medical Media event and we're here with JP. JP, and what brought you out here today? So I came here to check out Anthony William to uh, see to get the book signed for today. You came here to get your book signed? Yeah. And um, how did you find out about Medical Medium? I found him on YouTube back in 2021 um, when he was talking about different conditions and symptoms and he mentioned vitiligo and that's when I heard about him on YouTube and then I followed him on Instagram. And how has um, Medical Medium and his information impacted you, helped you, supported you? How did that all happen? Uh, a lot. I drink the celery juice every morning, the heavy metal detox smoothie, and I also um, do the 369 cleanse when I can. And I've been seeing dramatic uh, improvement with the vitiligo, with, the condi with my pigmentation coming back. And so, as a person who's been following the Medical Medium, work, would you say that his work and his information actually is true? It is the truth, I, 100%. I do see a lot of improvements, not as much as I'd like to see if I was more consistent, but with more discipline and more consistency, I will start to notice that this is the real deal. Hey, you know, step by step, right? Step by step, every day, every step. Out of time. That's it, they say Rome wasn't built in a day. I mean, it wasn't built, it wasn't built in one day. You don't heal in one day, it's going to take a while. In my case, it's going to take... I'm giving myself seven years, but I'm in it for the long haul. That's what it's about, right? And then for the long haul. It's like, um, it's like a marriage, but being married to yourself and like loving yourself and taking care of yourself, right? Every day, every day. Um, just one day at a time, do the best you can and just believe that this is the information that will help you. I love that. And what's your thoughts on the, today's event? How, how have you experienced it? What's your thoughts so far on the event today? It's great. I like the, the event. The line was great. Um, people are very nice. Um, it's really good. It's, so far, it's a good experience. Yeah. No troublemakers, right? No troublemakers. Everything good. Everybody's nice here. Yeah. And um, what was I going to say? Let's say um, a lot of people have been traveling kind of far and stuff like that. Are you close? Did you travel far? How far did you come from to get to here today? So I came from Riverside, so I'm only an hour away. So it's very nice that it was in LA instead of having to travel, but uh, yeah, it's great. Cool, yeah, you know, um, I came out here from, uh, we came out here from uh, San Bernardino, so. San Bernardino? Yeah, yeah I'm in Riverside. Yeah, so we're neighbors, right? We're neighbors, yeah, that's cool. So how long have we been there? Um, San Bernardino, over, two, over 10 years. 10 years. Um, and so, yeah, it's been great. And how did you find the medical media information? Uh, it was on YouTube. Uh, I was searching on YouTube I think because it was really quick. I don't remember. I just remember a video that I just saw on YouTube. I, I noticed celery juice. I was interested in what was celery juice about because um, I was trying to heal type 1 diabetes as well. So I have vitiligo and type 1 diabetes. So I was looking for anything that would help me manage my type 1 diabetes. So. Um, mostly I found him on YouTube. I can remember the most. And you've been stuck ever since, right? Ever since. I, when I heard about Sally Juice, I just got all the books in the month. In the first month, I got all the books that were available, and, and yeah. yeah he's, um, his information has been very wonderful, and uh, I want to thank you for talking with us and sharing with us. If there's anything that you can let the world know about Medical Medium, your experience, and if you just let the world know anything, what would you like to let them know? Um, Anthony is not a fluke. Uh, it is the real deal. I think that if you just give it a chance and just test it for yourself and don't let anybody else influence you and your decision to try it out, um, you will see that it, will, it can really change your life. And there it is from the horse's mouth, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. Hi, guys. So I'm here today with Matthew Peterson. Mr. Peterson, how are you doing today? Great, actually. First time in Culver City. Gotcha. Where are you from? Santa Rosa, California. Gotcha. And what brought you out here today? Supporting my mom for this whole event. She wanted to come. I helped her out. So. And what's your thoughts on the event been so far? A lot of people. Quite bright today, but super fun. How many people do you think have came today? I'd say well over a thousand. Yeah, I agree. Definitely over a thousand. And um, I think you told me that you like the blueberry juice, I think you were telling me? Yep. The blueberry juice is pretty much the main change that Anthony William got me into. As a Special Olympics athlete going on six years officially, it helps. Can you tell us how it helps you as an athlete? Well, first of all, the taste of it. You go from feeling half asleep to like, well, okay, now I'm awake. You don't need to wash it down with anything else, not even a shot of water, because, hey, it's good. I don't mind the aftertaste. And then the energy boost, that even helps, even before practice. Um, for people who may not know, what's some of the stuff that you do in the Olympics? So the Special Olympics is, uh, it's, going, it's over 50 years. It's athletes with disabilities. And we play sports that, like tennis, we play basketball, bocce ball, swim, track and field. There's soccer, there's bowling. Even golf is offered as a Special Olympics sport. Cool. Would you recommend other people that are in the Special Olympics to be on the medical medium stuff? Oh, definitely. If, the, if you can find something you like, like me for the blueberry juice, uh, very rarely my mom will convince me to get a shot of celery juice in, even just like a half glass even, and I'll do it just for the heck of it. Yeah. Awesome. And I saw earlier that you have the, uh, the anime with you, Demon Slayer. You want to tell us a little bit about the Demon Slayer real quick? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super knowledgeable into it. I can tell you that the most OP character is Nezuko because she has to be kept in a special case. If you let her out, it's trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. Maybe she could use some medical medium stuff. No, I think she's on it. <laughs> I think she's on it. Awesome. I want to thank you so much for talking with us. Is there anything that you would like to tell everybody about maybe medical medium, maybe about Special Olympics, about anything? Would you like to share your thoughts with our audience? Well, if you need help with your health, Anthony Williams, the medical medium, is a big help. If you know anyone with disabilities, have them look into the Special Olympics, which is sonc.org, and you will see just how much of an existence and an impact it has. Some of the athletes even go to the World Games, which most recently was held in Berlin. So, both medical medium, who's here today in Culver City, and the Special Olympics both have a big impact in health and the community. It's so weird, and that's all the information we got from this lovely gentleman. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Of course. Have a great one, man. I will. Hi, everybody. We're here at Medical Medium's event, and we are here with... Paige. <laughs> and Paige, what brought you out here today? Wow, it's really just a divine moment to really come out and meet AW and meet other people in the community and help out as much as I can as well. Got you. And what, um, what has Medical Medium done for you? It saved my life and so much more. Like, my life has completely changed and it's, it's really just given me the chance to be able to be free, be myself and really go and help people heal as well. Can you explain us, can you explain um, how he helped save your life? Well, that's a bit complicated, but... Um, my as simple as you probably can. Um, I, I was someone that was very, very sick with lots and lots of symptoms, plus I had lots and lots of trauma, and I managed to heal all of it with medical medium information, and I've been doing it over five years now, and I'm going to just keep on going and going, and I just I can't wait to see what else happens. What are some of the symptoms that um, medical medium has helped uh, alleviate for you? Um, 
from chronic fatigue, depression, depersonalization, brain fog, PTSD, um, severe anxiety, crippling panic attacks. Um, oh my goodness, like this is so much, a huge amount of lists of symptoms. I, I can't even begin to name them all. Definitely like over 100 symptoms for me. Beautiful. And um, I see you have a book in your hand. Yeah. You want to show us what book you got? Yeah. I got the first book, so the reason I picked this one is because um, I actually I was afraid of the cover when I first saw this because um, I had a massive pulmonary embolism, so like the x-ray cover of the lungs, I was afraid to pick it up at first and then a year later, in a divine way, I found medical medium information again and, and started applying it and started healing. Awesome. And were you local? How far did you come to get, to get here today? I came from a place called Thunder Bay, Ontario in Canada, so it's, it's kind of far but not really and it's, uh, it's kind of isolated from the rest of the world in a way. Gotcha. And what's your thoughts been about today's event? How's your experience been for today's event? Uh, so divine, filled with so much light and love and compassionate people and so much um, connections and faith. Oh my goodness, it's been so healing. And what would you say to people who never heard of medical medium, who might be suffering from illness themselves? What would you like to tell the world about stuff like that? Find people who have the symptoms that they healed from and then learn from, what, learn from them what they did to heal and just kind of try to incorporate some of the stuff that they did to see how it affects you. And really, um, there's so many people who have healed so much like me and we're, we're the living proof that you can heal anything. You can heal any chronic illness symptom. You can also heal from trauma. It, it's so amazing. Awesome. And those are words from a lady who has cured some of her symptoms herself. And I want to thank you so much for coming on and telling us your story. Oh, thank you so much. Wasn't that bad, was it? No, it was great, it was great. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Uh, Chu Yi and Zhao Hua. Actually, I'm going to trade sides. I'm going to come over here. Uh -huh. Hi, guys, I'm here with... Chu Yi and Zhao Hua. Gotcha. And uh, what brought you out here today? Yeah, I'm here to attend Medical Medium's uh, Medical Medium launch party and I'm uh, very grateful to be here and I'm very happy. I feel very uh, peaceful here and uh, so my mom here have a lot of energy too. So usually he will very wake after long standing for more than an hour. So now he is, she is very happy and very energetic. Mm -hmm. And for this long, it is a long way for us to do the medical medium. For me, uh, after two years uh, medical medium protocol, I hear a lot of issues like my uh, cyst is shrinking and um, uh, my mom uh, healed his uh, stress and uh, anxiety. So yeah. So. How did you find out about medical medium? So uh, in social media. And first from the social media, People recommend the book of celery juice, and then I buy the book, mm -hmm. and I read that one. It is uh, so meaningful and so reasonable, I think. So after reading that, I immediately buy another, yeah, several the left uh, books, and buy the, the, them all and read them all, and I uh, feel I found the truth. Gotcha. It is the right way. Um, and how do you feel about today's event? How do you feel about it? Wow, it is uh, really, I'm really happy and peaceful here. Um, I, I am re really touched. I'm emo emotional actually. When uh, Anthony do the light blasting, uh, and after that he will very will be very vague. So I'm, yeah, very emotional. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Did you guys travel far to come here today? Uh, yeah, we drove five hours from Northern California. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. And you said that he's helped cure some of your symptoms, right? Yeah. 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 What would you like to tell the world about medical medium, about his work, about stuff like that? What would you like to tell the world? Medical medium, uh, it is a truth to healing illness. So you find medical medium, it is the you can you can be healed. So uh, we know the uh, it is the right way, and uh, it helped me a lot. So I think it can help everybody to heal. Yeah. And you also use it for your mom too as well, right? Yeah, yeah. my mom did uh, celery juice and heavy metal detox smoothie every day. And it helps her too? Yeah, very, very much. Perfect. So initially he cannot sleep during the night. He has anxiety and uh, panic attack. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now it is getting better. It's good. A lot, a lot better. Uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. 
I want to thank you ladies so much for talking with us. Yeah, sure, no problem. And I hope you guys have a rest of a beautiful day. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with... Carrie E. Pebring. And we are here at the Medical Medium event in California. And how's your day been so far, Carrie? Um, I'm speechless. Like, it's been pretty darn good. It's been a whole weekend, actually. It's my birthday tomorrow, and I didn't even think I would be here. Um, I didn't even think I'd be here alive, but I, I didn't even think I could be here just in general. And well, congratulations for being here, and happy uh, early birthday. Yeah, 44. Hey, that's a good number. Yeah, it is, very much. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's been an amazing event. How has this event been for you today? Um, a little overstimulating, but okay. it's in a good way. Like, there's just, there's a lot of beautiful people here that um, have just experienced a lot of healing, but you can, you don't even have to talk about it. You just can feel it. You can feel it. And being everybody together, and we don't know each other, but we do. Like, we all come from all over the world, from different parts of the world, and everybody is so kind. Everybody is so generous, and I... I've been helped financially, I've been helped in so many ways, and I feel like I have a family here. And I don't know, this is, it's hard to, it's hard to put it all into words. It's almost speechless like you're saying, right? So how has Medical Medium impacted your life? How has he helped you and his information? Um, I started just in January, January 4th of this, la this year. So it has taken a lot for, maybe just peop the support for people to like hold my hand through it. I struggled for years with being, it's hard to talk about, but for years I struggled with an eating disorder and I was down to 65 pounds and on my deathbed, I didn't know how I was gonna even survive anymore. And it just, it was so traumatic. My life changed so much and I didn't even recognize the person that I became. Like I, I just didn't, looked the same I didn't feel the same I didn't know how to change it anymore and I did a lot of prayer and I had a friend that moved back from Texas and he shared medical medium with me and I started out with just a little bit of lemon water in the morning four ounces because that's all I can handle or I could handle and I worked up for that whole month like just being able to build that up and and then the celery juice and then the heavy metal detox smoothie and I prayed a lot and asked for support and this this they gave it to me like I just everywhere I turned there was support if I just asked and praying to the angels of light and angel of just all the different angels and spirit of compassion just being able to know that I'm being heard and 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 doubting it but then when things would happen and things would change on all levels like I didn't even have a lemon or a celery the ability to have it in my fridge and then all of a sudden doors kept opening up and I, I, I thought about it, I was like, I have a full fridge full of lemons. I can, I have a full fridge of celery and just these different things that I didn't think I could afford, I didn't think I could have and I thought, my life is over, I, I give up. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to live this way anymore and I, I just felt hopeless. So it, it's brought me hope again. I feel like being here on my 44th birthday, it was a sign when I saw that it was on the 15th. I'm like, I'm like, I, I want to go. But then the thoughts come in like, no, I, I don't have money, I'm sick, I haven't traveled in ages, and I'm not, I just, this is impossible. You gotta fight the negative thoughts. Yeah, and so I did. I pushed it out and I said, then I need a sign. And the sign, I had a dream that night, and I could feel that the energy that I was here in the dream, and we were talking in a circle, there was a group of us, I didn't recognize anyone. And then Anthony just kind of walks up like, like we're all just kind of this in this this inner circle. We're all together. There's no hierarchy. There's no up and down and better or worse. And we just were all talking. And then all of a sudden I was like, I my head was in his bosom. And I just, I wanted him to, in the dream, I wanted to hear something about my life that it was worth being alive for. And And he was whispering in my ear and I didn't even understand it, but in the in the in the spirit came up i heard it and it said you're going to be okay and that was it so i don't know i get really emotional when i like just being here and it comes and goes cuz of all the activity going on and it's just it's like it's so 
it's overwhelming. And then it's the lines. Like, I couldn't even believe the amount of lines. Like, how many people? I don't even know how many people are here, but it's incredible. You know, it's interesting because I've been asking people, how many people you think showed up today? Well, I heard the number was 3,000, but I know when I came in, it was about 1,000. And I knew there was a huge line behind me, so I, I don't know. I just know that... Want to throw a guess for us? A guess? Yeah. Hmm. So if I were to win a contest and I get I pick the number closest... I know, I know. Yeah. We'll say the spirit of light will hit you when you get the right closest number. Let me look around. Um, I, how about I just say, like, 1,700? Okay, at least they came today? At least 1,700. But I feel like I'm... Because of that number that someone gave me, I'm thinking I'm I'm totally off, but I don't care. Yeah, no, yeah. no worries. You know, and so, have you felt changes? Because I know you told us stories about basically kind of like we could say miracles kind of happened, where you had an empty fridge and now it's a full fridge. You didn't expect to be here today, and now you're standing. And thank you for telling your story with us. So, so um, what are some of the help, um, the physical things that have happened? Can you tell us some things that happened? So. I became very anxious and very much like where I couldn't even think straight. Like I, I couldn't recall anything and I couldn't read, I couldn't do anything anymore that was that took any brain because I was completely starved, I think. Um, I I have known it like and I had really I couldn't keep food down, so I was afraid to eat. So I either wouldn't eat or I would just it would come up on me and I didn't know how to change that. So for me like I noticed because I've been meeting with my really good friend Russell who, who introduced this to me, and yeah. So um, he's been holding my hand through this whole time. He talked to me every week on the phone if we couldn't meet up, but he's been so wonderful. And he would start to say, Carrie, you know, you, you weren't, all these symptoms I was having, like your gut like is always bloated or you, you're not having bowel movements or you're not, it's just, it's so uncomfortable all the time and you, so you don't eat. Acid reflux was really bad, and I stopped all the no foods, which I didn't have many because I've always been a really health conscious person. But I was still doing apple cider vinegar, and I was doing kim, you know, like fermented foods, all the things that programmed in. Like those are the things that are going to help me. Yeah, because it's so out there, and I had to just let go of all the programming and just trust that that I could do this. And I, I there was something different that happened. Like I felt like. It was easy to do. I, I had to try so hard to do what other people were telling me to do, but I think my intuition was telling me it was it was hard to do because it wasn't the right thing to do. And with Pentacle Medium, I would, like when I was looking at trying to heal my gut a bit more, I felt like, ooh, I just kind of want a banana and maybe a frozen banana and put some water in there and make it simple before bed. And I did it, and it, it felt so good. And then the next day, I was like looking on, you know, recipes for bananas. I was thinking, I'll just keep doing banana stuff. And I saw a recipe, and it was exactly the recipe that I made. And I didn't, I didn't have to look at it. So I knew that there was something that was coordinating, or like, you know, like there was something going on underneath the surface with the spirit. That's the spirit me. was definitely guiding yeah, you. Guiding me, and then confirming it through. The information that I wasn't even even quite ready to read because my mental capabilities wouldn't allow. Isn't it so beautiful that you come across something or you think about something and then you come across something to yeah. affirm it? Isn't yeah. that just amazing? Because then you're not you're not doing it because someone's telling you to do it. You're doing it because you're feeling it, and then somebody's somebody tells you it or they talk about it and it's confirmed. It's a completely different story. Yeah. It's amazing. And uh, did you guys come from uh, locally? Did you guys travel far to get here? So I came from Wisconsin, and um, it's again. I, I I really wanted to take a break from home. Like I I've been renovating a house. I had such dreams for that, and it's been a construction zone, and I've been working at it for almost a decade. And I finally burnt out. Like I couldn't. I got to the point where I. I mean, I got COVID, and I don't ever get sick. So it was like, even though I was dealing with the eating disorder stuff, I was still really super strong because I, I ate well to some extent. Um, but I started adding protein and fat because we were like, you need to do that to gain weight. And it, I didn't gain weight, and I, get, I kept getting worse and worse and feeling bad. And I, was, I ate clean, and it just, nothing was working. So um, 
so I, I don't know why I got on that, but. Yeah, we were talking about where you came from. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Wisconsin. Um, so I want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us and sitting with us. Is there anything that you would like to share with our audience about medical medium, health, life, spirit? Is there anything you would like to share with us? Who's your, who's your audience? I mean, I guess it's everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, let it go. Yeah, yeah. Let it go and let it flow. Yeah. The, let it go and let it flow. Throw the oars in where you're, where you're, where you're trying to go up the river and you're trying and trying, like I was doing for so long. Just, it's so beautiful to know that you can just throw the oars out and let the boat turn around and go down the river and just see, see the healing that comes through that. It just let it, let it go and flow. Yeah. Be like water, ladies and gentlemen. And I guess my last question I have for you is, is medical mediums information, is it real or is it hype? You know, there's so much hype out there and, and people make it hype. But what I've connected to when I, is just the soul of it and the spirit of it. And I know it's true. I know it's real. It, I can feel it. I can feel something moving it's not always seen by people but like to me it's real the, the part that's real is the spirit of it and if it leads you because there's different protocols and everybody has a different body and that's what I think the the message is is it's not the same for everybody's body is dealing with different things and you can't just if it was hype you'd be like oh we're gonna do one fit one one fit what is it one fits all but it's not and I've learned that as I've talked to people and that's the cool thing like I don't every I feel like we're just all we're not judgmental like there's no judgmentalness and I, I brought my friend Jeffrey kind of around with all the people throughout the days. And he, he's like, this is your group, you know, and thinking of it just like that. It's another click. It's another hype thing. It's not for me. You guys are going to just tell me what to do. And it's your tribe, your yeah, cult. your tribe. Your so you cult. go do your thing. But he actually, I was so happy to see him conversing with people and making connections. And then he tried his first glass of, like, celery juice. And, and he was just enjoying it just because it's, there's no, like, oh, you only eat this or drink this because you're a medical medium. It's, no, this is good food. This is healing food. Just just enjoy it if you want to enjoy it. Even if it's a sip. You don't have to have any more if you don't but there's no pressure. There's no pressure. And Anthony I never I never feel that with him. He's not pressuring people. That's one thing I personally love about Anthony. He's always like, move at your own pace. There's no rush. And I always like the fact he's like, speak to a medical provider if you don't trust me, get another medical provider's advice. Um, go, go at your ease, go at your pace and, and just you gotta you gotta be ready. Wherever you're ready, medical medium meets you where you're at. At least that's what I, I mean, like I said, I started out with four ounces of, of lemon water. I could barely, I mean, I, I don't think I could even believe that I could do it because of the, the, the stigmatism I had with the money and like even having food in my presence. But, um, but like. I, now look at you. Now look at me. I have yeah. a long ways to go. I'm still dealing with a lot of insecurities about my physical appearance and, and where, like, it doesn't seem to match up with how I feel inside. Like, I feel so excited, but I'm, I'm dealing with physical issues that I know are going to just, they're going to, as I just let them go, let it go, let it flow, it's, I'm just, my eyes are just going to start to see through the light that, that, that God and that love, that is that love. I agree. One thing I'm going to let you know before we go out, so everything takes time, right? And just like this tree right here behind us, the roots have to grow first before the tree gets to show its true colors. So you're building right now inside. So don't worry about the outside because you're building, you're, you're building the inside. Your roots are building inside. And then eventually it'll shine out the way you want it to. Yeah, and that's what I had to realize with recovery from an eating disorder is that I had depreciated down to nothing and I realized that the, the work was being done on the inside. It may not be seen on the outside, but it is still happening, and we can feel it, and then it starts to reflect on the outside. And it definitely will, because there are definitely rotten apples, and you're not a rotten apple. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for sharing with us. They have emotional blocks. Maybe they picked up some negative energy, not because they're a bad person, because they happen to be around negative energy somewhere. 
right? A lot of people have been misunderstood. You guys have been judged along the way. The medical medium crowd is the toughest crowd, though. The toughest crowd there is. And it's the only healing community where people have come back from wheelchairs. They've come back from the worst conditions. They've risen out of the ashes. Okay, so I know you guys are tough. You guys are strong. Think about where you want that light directed inside your body. And even if for some reason you have it directed to some place in your body, like your brain or your heart or your soul or your soul, anything can happen when that light goes into us. Anything can happen. Anything. Even if you say, I want it to make my heart better, that light's going to run through all of us. Now, many of us have blockages, like I was saying before, and it may take a little bit of time to get the light all the way through to everybody, but there's a lot of people here, it's going to go right through them, right from the top of their head down to the ground, but a lot of people, it's going to get stuck somewhere. Some people, it's going to get stuck here. Some people, it's going to stop here. So we're going to do it until Spirit of Compassion says, enough people, it went through and down to the ground. Okay? We'll see how, we'll see how blocked we are. <laughs> We'll see how many emotional blockages, okay? Can we do it for someone else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. I talked to SOC before this event, and I wanted that to happen. Direct the light to somebody else, okay? If you have to. You'll still get it, but it's also going to go to somebody else a little bit. Okay, so let's get ready. Shall we sit down? You can stand up. You can sit down. It's whatever anybody wants to do. Whatever you guys feel comfortable in doing. All right, so, did you ever look up at the stars at night? Okay, and you get a good look at the stars, right? Behind the stars, behind the stars is where this light is coming from. That's where it's coming from. So envision that if you can for a moment. You know, you can see stars, you can see the night sky, right? You've seen it enough in your life to know that you can go right back to that right now. So you envisioning that, right? And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just see one star, two stars, you see the sky. That's where the light is coming from. If you think you're struggling spiritually, if you have a lack of faith or you're struggling with your faith, whatever it is, or hope, have the light go there. Have it go there. Okay, we're gonna do the first light blast. What we're going to do is when you take that deep breath, I'm going to tell you to hold it. I'm going to yell light while I'm listening to Spirit of Compassion. And then we're going to release. Get ready. On the count of three. One, two, three. Deep breath in. Hold it. Light. 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 Release. A lot of blocks. A lot of blockages. It went through a few people, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little time. Because you guys have been through a lot in your life, and it hasn't been easy has not been easy. Get ready, we're gonna take a deep breath. One, two, three, everybody take a deep breath. Okay, release, release, okay. This is gonna be a stronger, stronger light blast. We gotta start out with the smaller ones. Count of three, take a deep breath. One, two, three, deep breath in, hold it, light, spirit, light, light, now, release. Okay, all right. A lot of people were cleared. A lot of people went right through to the ground. We still got some more to do. Hey guys, we are here with Ann Marsh, yeah. Miss Ann Marsh, how are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? I am so grateful. And what brought you out to this event today? Well, like everybody here, I've had um, a lot of medical issues most of my life that have only gotten worse in recent years. And I discovered medical medium two and a half, well, two years ago, roughly. Mm -hmm. And I, the minute I read it, I went, okay, I think this is the way to go. And so I've been following the medical medium protocols since then, and I've healed a lot of things, but I have a lot of things left to be healed. Yeah. So 
What are some of the things that the protocols have helped you with your healing? The most massive one, which just happened, is I've had an eating disorder my whole life. I, I don't have any memories as a kid of not having an eat. I always had an eating disorder, mm -hmm. always. A lot of alcoholism in my family and stuff. In any case, I don't have an eating disorder anymore. Congratulations. For people who may not know what an eating disorder is, can you kind of educate people on who may have thought that is? Oh, sure. So some people have compulsive overeating, which was mainly what I have. Other people have bulimia, where they'll eat and purge. And other people are anorexics, where they don't eat. And some people have a blend of all of that. But it's a disordered relationship to food. In fact, according to Anthony William, the medical medium, every person pretty much on the planet has some kind, even if it's subclinical and not self-identified. You know, people just have problems with food because most of the foods we eat are really, they're not from the earth. They've been messed with with man and they've been made to like make us have all these cravings, right? And so when you're in a cycle of cravings and then your emotions get wrapped into it, like, oh my gosh, you can have so many physical repercussions, everything from being super overweight to starving yourself down to the bones. It's, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And What's your thoughts on the event today? How, how has your experience been so far in the event? Well, I'll tell you, it's a beautiful day. We're under these gorgeous trees here in Culver City, and right across from Erewhon, which is offering now Anthony's uh, Heavy Metal Detox Smoothie, which is foundational if you want to clear metals out of your body, which we all do. So it's, be it's a beautiful day. But for all of us, pretty much it's been a major, because we have chronic illness, it's been hard to get here, hard to prepare, and it's tiring, even though it's wonderful. But the great thing is so many of us are isolated, so we do his protocols alone. And we, a lot of people in our regular lives don't understand or support us. So now we get to connect with people who really understand what we're doing. So we get to make friends and, and have a day where we are not the strange people, you, you know? Yeah. People are strange. If you're a stranger, yeah. yeah. Faces look lovely. <laughs> when you're alone. Hey, that's that's unscripted, folks. Unscripted, unscripted. And right on point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so what would you like to let the world know about your experience at Medical Medium and everything like that today? What would you like to let everybody know? Oh, gosh. What would I say about Medical Medium? Just if you are struggling with any symptoms that are mysterious and that you don't understand where they've come from, and you're not getting answers from conventional or even alternative naturopathic medicines, you might just want to crack open one of his books. I just started drinking lemon water. That's how it started for me in the morning, 32 ounces in the morning, first thing, totally cleansing and water. I was sold. <laughs> but then add some celery juice in, add a heavy metal detox smoothie, and take it from there. If you need more, there is vast amounts of his information, and you'll certainly get a perspective on any illness you might have that is not... You won't get that perspective anywhere else, and you might get a chance to really heal, permanently heal. Like, to, for me, to be on planet Earth without an eating disorder, I don't even know who I am. You're, maybe you're seeing your real you. Thank you for saying that. Oh, I'll give you a hug for that. <laughs> I mean, that is how I feel. I've never known my life without having this completely distorted, unhealthy relationship to food. And so I, that is how it feels is that I'm getting a chance to, you know, I'm just, just getting a chance to learn who I really am. I love that. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing with us. You said you traveled, are you local? Did you travel high and far? Not that far. For me, it was not that far. It was just San Clemente, an hour and a half away, although I used to live up here. Mm -hmm. And, um, but when you're like really sick like me and you have to do a lot of preparations to prepare to travel, it's, a huge lift and a lot of my friends even local friends who wanted to come something happened and they you know when you're chronically ill just stuff happens and they yeah. couldn't be here yeah. so I'm super lucky that I, I did make it and you know as you know there are people here from Russia and like uh, yeah. Asia yeah. Canada. And, you know yeah. like the Nordic country it's extraordinary how far people have come yes. so it's really fortunate and it's uh, we're fortunate to have you be here with us and share with us and I thank you so much. Thank you for your time. It's nice to talk to you. Thanks for your intelligent questions. Thank you. Yeah.